गुड मर्निंग सब जान सच टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस यू अबाउट द प्रोटोकल सबमिशन फॉर द रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट वी ऑल नो दैट एज अ सिक्स सेमेस्टर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट वी हैव टू कंडक्ट वन रिसर्च इन थर्ड इयर एंड अंडर द गाइडेंस अफ योर फ्यूचर and i am here uh, to discuss you how you are supposed to submit uh, the protocol for that uh, i am sharing you uh, the one protocol that was submitted by my dear student dr jana adhikari and dr hari shankar nupani now they are the medical officer and they did uh, this project 3 uh, years back when they were the third year mbbs student okay uh first of all in the way you the where you will get this uh, format you will get this format from bpkhs website where there you can see irb uh, column that is institutional ethical review board column from here you can download uh, this format where you can download the format for pgphs protocol like that okay there is something like that and you can download from here here in the first line you have to write the title of your project so here the product, uh, the title of the project is a uh, retrospective study and clinical epidemiology profile and outcome of patient with stroke in tertiary care center in nepal how you are going to determine the title of the project for that you need to discuss with your guide and you just uh, discuss with your guide and make a consensus and finalize your the title like some of you might be interested in one topics uh, you know so maybe interesting another topic like that but as i am interested in neurology and he's also in the, they are also interested in neurology we have discussed and we have finalized this topic that will do the project in stroke okay so just just you discuss with your guide for this uh in the title when you are writing the title uh, you it should be brief it should be and clear okay it should be attractive also and you should reflect the whole idea of the, of the thesis or the paper uh, basically the fundamentals is that, is that uh, so you have to write the study design in the title uh, and the study population as well as the study setting uh, that is what uh, uh, you have to write at least in the title so in this year the study design is retrospective one uh, study population is stroke and study setting is the tertiary care center in nepal that is bbkhs and what we're going to do outcome is uh, the profile and outcome that's that is what we are going to look so if you only look at this uh, title then you will have the idea so what this uh, what is what is what this research is about okay and you have to write your badge your name here then in the second page you have to write the candidate name then you have to write your email address and phone number as well you have to sign there and in the third page uh, you have to write the summary of the research protocol uh, where you have to write uh, the summary of the research protocol uh, like what is the title of this study uh, student name then department then guide co guide uh, email of the candidate okay then you have to also write about the aims and objectives of the study material and methodology of the study Uh, population type of study setting inclusion criteria exclusion criteria review of literature sample size and these are the things probable duration of study whether you have taken the ethical clearance or not like that okay uh in the and then uh, in the third page when you are writing the introduction in the introduction uh, most of the introduction uh, like we write introduction in three paragraph in the first paragraph what is known about the conditions in which you are planning to do the research if you are if you are planning to do the research in stroke then what is known about the stroke uh, okay that is what you have to write in the second paragraph what is unknown about the stroke for what is unknown about the stroke why you want to do this uh, project uh, okay in the third paragraph you have to write the setting of the this research and why you want to conduct this study what is the expected outcome of this study you have to write in the third paragraph okay for that what you need to do you need to collect uh, you need to collect the previous literature uh, which uh, that are published in this topic in your in a topic so but don't forget to cite uh, the um, data from which you have taken 
like here uh, i have uh, taken the one definition from one published literature and i have cited that uh, uh, literature because if you do not cite then it is just a plagiarism it's just a copy like you cannot copy and you have to always cite and for that you need to know how to use the citation manager like the mendeley or um, in note or even you can cite manually as well but it's difficult for it okay you have to cite and you just then review of literature you just collect uh, some of the published literature in your topic and just like the, write the review why you need to write the review because you should have some knowledge what is the known the facts um, of uh, about the condition in which you are doing the research you have to know because so that you will, you will have the clarity what is you know, what is known what is unknown you should have clarity that's why you have to collect some of the published literature and you have to write definitely then third you have to write the rational of the study why you want to conduct this study what is the new thing that we are going to get after uh, complete discussion of this project you have to write then objectives so every research has certain objectives like primary objective and secondary object what you want to find out so in my in the, in this project the the objective was to determine the outcome of stroke patient that was the objective outcome with the mortality rate or length of hospital stay a lama or referral these are all our outcomes that we wanted to determine that thing from this project then in the material material and methodology part we have material and method how we want to conduct this study what was what is the study design where you want to do the study what is the sample site what is the inclusion criteria what is the exclusion criteria like in this patient exclusion criteria traumatic brain injury we excluded the patient with traumatic brain injury because if you take the patient with traumatic brain brain injury it's very difficult to diagnose the stroke condition okay so uh, we excluded that then we have to try the sampling technique sample size you have to write everything the sample size you can write whatever you want you have to calculate the sample size based on standard format okay and you have to discuss you, with your guide for that thing then you have to write the methods outcome measures and data management and statistical analysis you have to write how we are going to handle the data how we are going to collect the data how we can enter the data how we are going to analyze the data okay and how you are, what are the tables you want to make how how you are going to analyze the data you have to write everything in the data in the data management and statistical analysis and you have to also write uh, uh, how we have calculated the sample size it has some certain formula and we have to discuss with your guide for these things okay because you cannot take whatever you want we have to always discuss uh with your guide and last thing you have to write the reference okay uh, reference and uh, if you write this then i think um, one thing i forgot because you, some if you want to do the prospective study then uh you have to write also informed consent because you have to take the consent from the participants you cannot do research in the wish you have to always take the uh, informed consent okay and it it has its own format as well but as you people are in your home and then you might be confused like you might be in confusion how to conduct a study there are methods you can conduct the study even by the online especially online knowledge uh, assessment or you can also uh, ask about the, like the uh, ask the uh, questionnaire from the phone calls or internet uh, services like whatsapp or viber you can do but basic things you have to you should have desire to learn and to do the project Uh, so this paper uh, they did and ultimately they um, you know, they completed they published and they won one of the best prize uh, best prize uh, in by the nepal uh, the stroke journal okay they won the first prize so it looks simple but uh, if you do then it can give so many information because uh, by if you read this uh, uh, paper in the internet uh, then you will get the, the idea about the stroke so what what is the most common complication what is the outcome Uh, what is the mortality rate uh, what is the clinical profile what are the risk factors like that you can have an idea uh, okay so this will be helpful for your future career so don't panic uh, just discuss with your guide you just show your uh, eagerness to learn about learn the research okay thank you if you have any confusion then you can write in the comment section i will be there to help you